You get a meteor. You get a meteor. You all get meteors. My name is Logan and welcome back to City Skylines. The only game that will let us recreate the 2012 Mayan calendar human extinction event. Because after all, what's more fun than decimating an entire population? And I picked the perfect map from the Steam Workshop for this. The Volcano Map. Which we're aptly calling X Gonna Give It To You. How do you think some guy convinced his wife to move here at the base of this volcano? He's just like, oh come on, the real estate is so cheap and there's, there's a great school system and there's a, a volcano? What do you mean there's a volcano? Well, it hasn't been active in about 300 years and for whatever reason now it just spews out water, so you know, it's, it's good. But if you guys have watched my videos, you know that things aren't gonna be good. Which is why I've gone with this weird crop circle design from the movie Sign starring Mel Gibson. And I just added these three large roundabouts with all these other connections just to really make people's lives hell. Because if the spewing volcano, the tornadoes, the flooding, the hurricanes, the everything else isn't going to be bad enough for them, those roundabouts certainly will top it all off. Now as you can see, our little city is up to 3,000 people. But a lot of people are still complaining about electricity, even though we have so much going right now. So maybe we'll test out the waters and see how... Much people will want to stay with a little thunderstorm. See, now this isn't going to be a big extinction level event, but we kind of just want to see what happens when a little thunderstorm rolls through and starts to cause a little bit of havoc. Meteorologists are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming days. Here we go. Citizens Here we are go. advised to stay indoors. I don't know about you guys, but if this was happening at the base of a vo volcano where I lived, I probably wouldn't stay there because things are already lighting on fire over here. And that's not even the epicenter of the thunderstorm. Another building just caught on fire, but luckily it's raining. That should, you know, help put it out. How ironic is it that the crematorium is on fire? Like, well, I guess, you know, that kind of saves money on having to burn the bodies in there to ash because, well, everything will be ash. And for really no reason at all, I just put a hydropower plant at the top of the volcano because I figure if we have a volcano that's going against physics and spewing out water instead of lava, we might as well put a hydropower plant at the top. So I just noticed that crematorium, it's completely burnt to a crisp, but it's still operating normally. It looks like it, it just came from like Mad Max or through the apocalypse, but it still works. And overall, I just don't think that that thunderstorm was enough. Because look at our population now, we're up to 4,800 people and we're still growing. Tons of places caught on fire, there's a forest fire going on right here. I'm almost wondering if we should put in one of these small emergency shelters. It says that it only has capacity for 1,000 people and we have like 5,200, almost 5,300 people here. So it's really just going to be like the Hunger Games out there to see who can get inside. Look how happy everybody is because all the people who live right next to it are like, yeah, we're probably going to be okay. But the rest of the people, well, they're screwed. So what will the people do if a little earthquake happens to hit exactly right where that shelter is? And I didn't put in an earthquake uh, alarm seismic counter. So these people have no idea that this is coming. And now that they're saying there's not enough food inside. Well, oh well, 5% food. It's gone. It's just completely gone. It said that they were near indestructible and not the one thing that they had to go to is just gone and everything's being ripped open. Which makes me think that maybe we should add like a tornado in there too, just to we, we need to warn people, you know what I mean? People need to know that this was like the worst decision of their life to move to this place, and I'm gonna make sure they know that. The Hemlock residence, ready for rebuilding? Well, you might wanna hold off on that because I have a feeling that a nice old-fashioned Midwestern tornado is coming right your way. Meteorologists have issued a severe tornado warning for the area. Oh, look a how beautiful it is. A tornado has touched down in the area. Seek oh, look at it. Hey, I figure if Dorothy and Toto can deal with it, then so can you people. I love how the population is still slightly going up, even though these disasters are happening. There was a fiery thunderstorm, there was a giant earthquake, and now there's a tornado that came like two days later, and people are like, yeah, you know what, this is still a good place to live. Look at the pure devastation. Like, do you think that the Mayans had this in mind when they were doing all this? When they were making their calendar, do you think they're like, yeah, you know what? Some guy is gonna make a video out of this in like a couple hundred years, and he's just gonna completely destroy and ruin the lives of everybody inside of a Sims virtual game. 
I love how there's just debris falling everywhere. Just people's cars. Like this guy just bought this sports car and now it's completely totaled and ruined. And these people are still just like driving like nothing's even happening. They have no care in the world. They're just all like, oh yeah, you know, we'll, we'll get by this as there's just like a massive tornado flying through. And it looks like the tornado is gone. See, that wasn't so bad. But as I look at the destruction of this entire place, I'm starting to realize that I'm very biased in who I'm attacking. Like, yeah, this is the main residential center, but look at all this over here. There's so many more people who would just love to die. Nothing a bit of collapse in this nice industrial business center can't take care of. Or maybe some fires right over here. And over here. And over here. And over here. Ah, uh, look at it all. Fire spreading. A massive collapse is about to happen. Could it be any more beautiful? Look at them just fall down. Wow. But that doesn't seem to affect our population at all. This place is paradise for people who are thrill seekers. And nothing says thrill seeking like a sinkhole opening up in the earth swallowing you whole. Geologists predict that a sinkhole could strike at any minute. Residents should take precautionary measures. I love how it just started to melt the pavement around this place. What is this place? An elementary school. It just melted the pavement as if it was liquid. And it completely cut it off from this road, so you totally know that these kids are just gonna, like, die here because nobody... If you remember my video where we did the No Escaping the City one, these people don't have the knowledge to just walk right over and save these kids. These kids are, they're just gonna die. Where has everybody gone? Hashtag abandoned buildings everywhere. Hashtag ghost town. Well, there's still somehow 9,300 people who are dying to live here, even though there's basically every abandoned building on earth sitting inside the city. And I'm just starting to think, I don't think that this is catastrophic enough for this video. I am not doing my job as a content creator trying to make the Mayan apocalypse extinction human event happen if now we're up to 9,500 people. If people want to keep moving here and if people want to keep building lives here, we're going to just have to stop them. And I'm thinking like tornadoes, tornadoes, tornadoes. Why not a few forest, forest fires as well? That there is a risk of an imminent forest fire a couple of earthquakes. Area. Look at a it happening. Has touched down in Look at all the tornadoes tornado coming in. For the, area. the population's Residents going down right now. I think everybody's just being available. killed. I don't think they're a moving out. Because we all know the that these people would Seek never move out of this town. Is available. Look Seek at shelter it. Immediately if any is available. More just keep popping up. Warning. There's fires, there's earthquakes. Oh. This is a beautiful. Has touched down in the area. You know what? Seek shelter immediately if any Why not available. a meteor strike too? Oh, we're Residents about to have the big attack. The meteor is about to strike down. The population's decreasing. People are dying left and right. Oh, I think I hear something. Oh, look how beautiful that is. It's so beautiful, it's killing my frame rate. Has occurred. Look at that, the population is down to 6,400 people. But it is rising again. I don't understand that how it's going up it's like people die and then everybody's just like well i guess their house is open and available now and during all this this house is just being robbed there's multiple problems there's a big uh pile of trash and it's also being robbed at the same time i guess looting and rioting is a big problem in the mayan apocalypse so I may have just clicked the meteor button like 10 times in this area and now this woman just keeps announcing over and over again that a new meteor is about to strike. Look at them all coming down. The camera just immediately pans to the new area each and every time. This has to be what the Mayans were thinking when they made that calendar. They were carving that stone tablet and said, you know what? Meteors meteor everywhere. You get a meteor. You get a meteor. You all meteor get meteors. Well, I hate to break it to you, lady, but there is no shelter available because I didn't build any. And the one time I did build one, it got destroyed right away in an earthquake, even though it said it was supposed to be fairly indestructible. No matter what I do, I can just not destroy this city. Everybody loses their house. Everybody dies. There's not enough resources. Nobody can do anything. But yet these people still just keep coming back. Near Maybe future. I can take out their volcano Residents and flood the place. I don't even know what to available. do because tsunamis won't work on the water volcano. I've been trying that. Okay, that did like nothing to this thing. Apparently whoever made this water volcano made it pretty damn 
indestructible. So I might have to make that the end of this video because you know what, no matter what I do, no matter what I try, the people just won't lay down and die. So with that said, my name is Logan. Thank you guys so much for watching and please like and subscribe to this video. I am posting videos as often as I can. I'm trying to do every day for the rest of this week at least and then I want to do between four or five a week. I always do look at the comments and I do look at suggestions that you guys might have for future games and scenarios that I can play within these games like City Skylines and The Sims and Planet Coaster and lots of others. So let me know down below and we can get on some new content. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you at the next upload.